and your care. Anyway, you are not better than those who are sleeping under the bridges, uh, Le uh, under the, uh, the Lagos Bridge, uh, yes. that bridge. You are not better than them. So yeah, you can have uh, join the queue. Yeah, join the queue. You don't. You, nobody should pity this girl. Honestly speaking. And if uh, well, uh, if you if you want the wrath of God to be upon your head, that one uh, you can go ahead to, you know, even not wrath of God at all. She herself is even more than <laughs> <laughs> that girl is calamity. <laughs> calamity. Uh, she's more than the word calamity <laughs> or evil. Yes. <clears throat> It's more than it's more. You see how evil forest is in Nigeria, yeah. and how Nigerians value evil, evil forest. Yes, that girl is more than the evil forest itself. Yes, uh -huh. she's more than the evil forest itself. So a whole evil forest. You going to? So do you want to? You want to go and carry that whole evil forest and bring it to your house? To house. Oh, <laughs> full of different different spirits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that they were trying to cast one one after the other, and then the spirit finally decided to run away. Yes. Exactly, a who Ajoke is a, a who evil forest on its own. Yes. So you, uh, okay. Anyway, if you want to carry evil forest to your home, uh, well, it's your choice. It's your choice. Your decision to make. Your decision to make. So daughter of TV Joshua. So today, uh, like we always do, my panel is the uh, you know he's coming to dichotomize, dissect and digest everything you need to know about a joke um engineer the only engineer was <laughs> okay um based on the bbc's documentary yeah uh, before i proceed uh, i also urge the, the viewers out there to like this video share the video subscribe to the channel and then hit the notification button all right so without wasting much time uh diving into our case keys with regards to bbc bbc's documentary uh ajoke bbc according to bbc mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yes i'm, I'm speaking of uh, According to BBC, BBC's yes, perspective. BBC's perspective. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm speaking from. Mm. So, according to BBC, okay. Ajoke is a biological daughter, daughter of uh, the late Prophet Timmy okay. Joshua. According to BBC's mm. documentary, mm. if you listen to the entire documentary and all the people who had something to say with regards to as witnesses, mm. okay. they all claim that Ajoke is the biological daughter of. The late prophet TB Joshua, okay. and then uh, Ajoke also said a lot of things, and did also mention that she's currently homeless. <laughs> yeah, she says she's, she's <laughs> currently homeless. So we <laughs> want to dive into the matter. So we'll be discussing why Ajoke is also homeless. Mm. Because you know it doesn't sound right for Timmy yeah. Joshua's daughter to be homeless. Homeless. You know, looking yeah. at looking at the status the man has, you <laughs> understand, and all his wealth. It doesn't. It doesn't sound right. It does not. Yeah, for the daughter to be well at all. To be to be homeless, you, you get it. So from BBC's documentary, the girl says she's she's homeless, and then she also said that uh, uh, the late prophet Timmy Joshua has scolded her severally. Uh, on different occasions without her doing anything wrong mm -hmm. all she did was confronted her father and then uh, he had to school there and all those things so these are some of the findings with regards to Ajoke from BBC's documentary okay yeah. all right so now uh, let's delve into the main issue yes so now um, Ajoke as BBC laid it out as the biological daughter of TB Joshua or the late prophet, uh, what uh, did you yourself uh, find out? Is it true that Ajoke is the biological daughter of the late prophet? Well, it's not true that Ajoke is the biological daughter of the late prophet. Okay. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of evidences out there, mm. not just one, a lot of okay. evidence out there. Okay. That shows that 
Ajoke is not the biological daughter of the late prophet. Okay. Rather, she is an adopted daughter. Okay. As a result of the man's benevolence. Oh, okay. He, he decided to adopt her, give her life. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And then treated her as his own. So, in light of that, a lot of people thought the girl was the uh, or the girl daughter of, of the man. Okay. okay. Because of the kind of love mm -hmm. and care mm -hmm. that okay. this man showed okay. on the girl. So, a lot of people mistook that as her being the man's biological daughter. Okay. But she, she isn't. So, uh, per my understanding, so if not, had it not because of this documentary, nobody would have even known that she is an adopted daughter of the late prophet, right? Uh, exactly. Because, you see, <clears throat> after this documentary, the documentary, uh, I would say, in a way, got people digging into things. Oh, okay. Because the documentary itself, like we said before mm -hmm. in one of our videos, okay. the documentary is not a complete documentary. It's, it's a half-baked documentary <laughs> which was saved. <laughs> this documentary is not by BBC. Not, yes, by BBC. This documentary is not, it's not a complete documentary. <laughs> so it has got people thinking okay. and wanting to do findings to know what exactly these people are saying. Okay. If they are they are speaking the truth or you know they are lying against the late prophet because this man of God happened to be somebody who was a very respectable and notable person. Okay. Worldwide. You get it? So a documentary like this about him mm. will raise eyebrows. You get people talking, people thinking. Half cooked, half yes. baked. What these people are saying, is it true? Is it false? People will talk, people will dig into matters. So if not for this documentary, we wouldn't have known that Adoke, as we all thought to okay. be the biological daughter of the late prophet is in the biological design. So, the, in a way, the, the documentary has helped us to find out the true paternity of, mm -hmm. of the girl. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 that's true, absolutely. I quite remember uh, in one of our videos we were, we talked about, we, we, we said that how come he was able to give life to other, uh, uh, his other uh, children and then this particular one has not gone to school and so forth yeah, and yeah, yeah. ended up in the disciple in the church yes <laughs> so now i think you uh, you have a lot to say about that so <laughs> we are listening uh, exactly <laughs> you see ajoke ajoke is a very stubborn girl <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it's an interesting character yeah I, she's an interesting character yes. and very very dramatic mm, okay ajoke is a very very stubborn girl <laughs> because <laughs> see, initially, mm -hmm. we all thought that, oh, possibly, you see, when Ajoke was speaking mm -hmm. from uh, BBC's documentary, okay. she said that she grew up mm -hmm. in the church, Okay. inside the church, mm -hmm. the synagogue church of all nations, that's okay. where she grew up, Okay. I get it. Yeah. She never did mention of the fact that this man sent her to school. Oh, okay. She never did mention of the fact that she went to one of the best and the most expensive schools in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, okay. She never did mention of the fact that because mm -hmm. of her mm -hmm. own bad character, mm -hmm. her own bad deeds. Oh, okay. With a lot of bad reports every now and then from school authorities, the 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 the, uh, the father, mm -hmm. which is uh, the prophet, because okay. she adopted. Okay. Yeah. So the father had to now. You know, bring her to the into the church mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. to school there, and okay. also you okay. know for transformation. Okay. transformation. There, if I must say, yeah, for for total transformation. The church is for transformation. Yeah, the church is for transformation. So the father now have to disciple her, for her to be able to be transformed. Mm -hmm. And even in the process of trying to transform this girl, this girl still portrayed a lot of bad characters. Whoa, whoa. So Ajoke, like I said, is is a very very bad girl. An interesting character, yes. Right? Because from one of the findings, mm -hmm. this girl is, I don't know, I, I can't even say gifted. Okay. But this girl is just <laughs> talented when it comes to stealing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a talent. You, you get it? But that's why I say I don't want to say she's gifted. Because I don't want to believe that people are gifted when it comes to stealing. You get it? But this girl can just, like, she, she just can't seem to, you know, feel free seeing people's items without touching it. I, 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 
Uh, the girl is very, very talented when it comes to stealing. stealing okay. This girl has Absolutely. stolen, has stolen, has uh -huh. stolen on several occasions mm -hmm. in school. Okay. You get it? And then at a point in time, she had to write a letter of plea to the school authorities mm -hmm. for forgiveness mm -hmm. and all those things, which they did. And then, uh, you know, looking at the, the, the status of the father and all those things, they decided to just uh, put everything aside and then still. Okay. Uh, allow her be a student in, in the, the school. school yes so that uh, she could be uh, properly guided cancelled and uh, for her transformation to be complete okay but all attempts to transform this girl were futile you get it this girl just seemed to be like i said earlier gifted when it comes to stealing <laughs> Nothing the school authorities didn't do, nothing the police probably didn't do to transform this girl. The but most, this girl, nothing happened. The most gifted thief. Oh, yes. Eh? In the history of Nigeria. <laughs> uh, you see, there's one, one interesting thing about the late, the late prophet. Mm -hmm. you see, he likes to mm -hmm. document things, oh, he okay. likes to okay. record everything as it is happening. Just so, for, I think, just for future sake. Uh, exactly. Uh, I think maybe he, he may probably uh, 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 knew a day like this will come. Will come, yes. Yeah. So I think it's, 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 it's a good sign that we all uh, take a step to document things for days like this. Yes. Mm. When this girl was found, the, the late prophet. Uh, recorded the very day this girl was found oh, okay as brought to the church and then looking at the girl he decided to adopt the girl gave the girl his name mm -hmm. so he named the girl after himself yes after himself adopted this girl named this girl gave this girl life he gave this girl life gave this girl everything that life could offer he gave the girl everything that life could offer. So the late prophet sent this girl to the best schools and one of the best and the most expensive schools ever in Nigeria. Look at it. You get it? Just for this girl to have life. life. That kind of life. This girl was brought up in riches. Mm -hmm. You get it? But her bad character mm -hmm. spoils everything. So it got to a point whereby the school authorities were, were even wondering if it is the, the seed of the, the prophet that they know that actually <laughs> bored the, the lady. <laughs> you, you because yes. for, for, for a notable <laughs> man as <laughs> late prophet T.B. Joshua to have, yeah, to have a daughter who is, you know, who is so gifted in stealing. <laughs> <laughs> who can barely see? Yes, can barely, <laughs> who can barely bypass any? <laughs> yeah, to the extent that this girl had to to steal to steal uh, 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 forty one thousand uh, pounds. <laughs> That's such a huge amount. Yes. Squandered the, the whole money within a twinkle of an eye. You get it? <laughs> Wow. So that girl, that girl there's, there's, there's something wrong with that girl. And that was the, the, the main reason why the late prophet now decided to disciple the girl. So that the girl can undergo total transformation. transformation. Okay. And this girl now being an ingrid, which I will say, comes out today to say that the, the, the late prophet wasn't good to her. Like who in her right senses will be saying that a man that adopted you Gave you life, gave you everything that uh, uh, you could ever think of. Sent to the best schools, the most expensive schools, provided all your needs. Because the, the person wants to see you or see you uh, be a better version of yourself by transforming you from all her bad character, especially her stealing habits and all those things, and decided to disciple you. You are saying that this man is is uh, is a wicked man or is, it has not been good to you or has not been a good father <laughs> then the girl is really 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 a bad girl because if someone could adopt you eh, which means that uh, you don't even know your mother you don't even know your father yes you don't know any parent of yours and somebody yes 
somebody will adopt you and give you life which uh, uh, even people with parents yeah. people with parents cannot even uh, uh, have a, a quarter of it and today you squandered all those opportunities and then later uh, uh, came out to say that the person who was trying to give you that life is a bad person oh i think she's really an ingrid yes like you said yeah yeah that girl is an ingrid you, you get a whole thing so for her to mm. say all those things it's not right at least be grateful for the little things the man did for you knowing very well that you are not his biological daughter because yeah. this girl maybe from the beginning she didn't know until the mm. point whereby she was stealing and stealing okay. habits okay. brought the school authorities the school in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the, the man of god had to now reintroduce mm -hmm. the lady to the mm -hmm. church administration mm -hmm. and tell the church administrations that oh show them with evidence as he recorded that this was when he found a girl this was when he renamed the girl okay. and decided to okay. give this girl life and treated the girl as though the girl was his biological, biological daughter so daughter. nobody knew that the girl was not a biological daughter of the man of god because it's until it got to that point that everybody was talking mm. everybody people wanted to know how come your your daughter is into all this kind of acts you get it? so he has to just clear the air that oh the girl is not my biological daughter i adopted this girl and then made everybody believe that she is my biological daughter but with regards to how this girl is tarnishing my image and all those things then i have to come out to clear out clear up the air and let everybody know that she isn't my biological daughter so that was the point that i believe this girl knew mm. that the the uh, tb joshua wasn't the it's father biological, biological father. father and as at that time things are, had already gone out of hand mm. so the only option left was to disciple the girl even with that the the, the late prophet sent the girl back to the school mm. This girl ended up okay, thinking maybe thinking, yeah. she came to learn something small, so she should, so go, she should go back. Right? Yeah, she should go go back and finish the school at least. So he discussed with the school authorities and all those things, and then they decided to uh, accept the girl back. You get it? This girl went back to school and then ended up uh, running away with a man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand the whole thing? Like you sometimes you wonder how this girl. <laughs> process things how this girl thinks you get the whole thing this girl went back to the school and then alluded with uh, her lover lover boy that she is indeed a sports brat yes you know yes how so he got to a, a point whereby the man realized that the man of god realized that with all these things i don't think this girl can even mm. stay in school or Complete this school. Looking at the even the amounts he he's, he's paying, spent. yeah, he's spending, paying fees and all those things. This girl needs total transformation first for her to continue the school. Then she first has to be transformed because you can't keep going back to school if you you don't go and steal money. You go and be chasing boys. You go and be running with running away from campus with with guys and all those things. The girl needs total transformation first. Okay, I, I, I uh, hold it there. So in the documentary, I can't remember. She said that she will be locked in a, 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 a in a room without food, without so, so because of all this behavior, you know, he treated that yeah, way. He has to go so, through yes. transformation. Yes. So yeah, so people now people did not understand why the the man of God was yeah, doing yeah. all that. Yeah, he yeah. was trying to transform the girl. Yeah, yeah. Now get because it. nothing you could do. Because at a point in time. Even this girl was chasing one of the male disciples. You understand? Oh. So if you lock up that girl in a room, it's, it's not a bad thing. You get it? Because that girl, I don't know whether to say that girl was possessed, which needed deliverance, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that girl just needed to be needed transformation. So everything I believe the, the, the man of God did was to just transform, transform the girl. The girl. But she took it in a bad uh, fit, which she shouldn't have. Mm. 
knowing very well her track record, mm -hmm. why would you take such thing with, with that kind of faith? Mm -hmm. Knowing your track record, and at the end of the day, they told you that no, why things have gotten to, I need to disciple you so that you can be transformed. Mm -hmm. You need to go through strict monetization, uh, uh, monitoring mm -hmm. so that you could be transformed. You need monitoring, counseling, mm -hmm. guidance, everything. And you see, there's one thing too, the Bible says, you, you, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. So, spoil the child, yes. You, you understand? That. So you don't expect the, the, the man of God to be soft on a, a girl like that. With his, his, his status as everybody, the whole world hand. Yeah, thinks that the, the girl is, is yeah. a, a, his daughter. You don't expect him to be soft on the girl so that he can keep tarnishing his mm -hmm. image. So he did what he, he had to do to transform this girl. And this girl now comes out today on BBC's documentary to say that the man was so cruel to her. This girl is an ingrate. Absolutely. She's an ingrate. Absolutely. Absolutely. So these are uh, uh, people, initially, people thought uh, maybe she was, uh, um, how do I say, uh, uh, the prophet's daughter, which maybe. Uh, from another woman that was yes. what people were saying yes. initially from the way she even narrated the story the story from the way she narrated mm -hmm. the story that uh, even uh, she said something she was like uh, giving birth to her was uh, mm -hmm. the man's uh, tv joshua's uh, greatest fear mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and then the man never liked or even mm -hmm. loved her from the mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. And they didn't want to have like the sight of her mm -hmm. alone, you know, aggravates anger mm -hmm. in the man. You know, mm -hmm. you know, the way this girl sounded on the documentary, he, he like she clearly painted the man of God black. Absolutely. So we didn't think that oh, possibly the man of God had her uh, out of wedlock mm -hmm. or with another woman and didn't want the, the world to know that uh, possibly. He had uh, something, issue yeah, yeah. You, you get the whole thing. So that was how the, the, the girl sounded. But so, that, wasn't the, that wasn't the truth. Yes, so we eh, yeah. still doing uh, those things. In fact, no parent, no parent in their right senses will, will, will be happy with her. So if exactly. she say that, the, if she, she, uh, uh, she, yes, the man was right to do so. Yes. Because moreover, you are not even his biological daughter. And you'll be giving him headache, uh, and those tarnishing his image. Yes, tarnishing his image as well as giving him uh, those headaches. He's had good reputation. Reputation over the years that yes. he has taken time to yes. build. Yes. Then you will come from nowhere to just come in. Even if, even if uh, she she had she had happened to be the man's biological mother, I think he still would have treated her the same because yes. you can't just come and tarnish his your, image. your father's image for no reason. The father have to scold you. You get the whole thing. So there's nothing wrong with the man of God mm -hmm. scolding her, mm -hmm. and she mistake. I don't think she even mistook it as as that. But I think this girl is just being an ingrate, ingrate. Yeah, by yeah. saying the things yeah. she she said. Because this girl on a normal day shouldn't even appear on BBC's documentary. Exactly. You get it like exactly. knowing very well that she knows. Because the man brought out all the documents, the adoption papers, the video, everything. The man brought out all these documents, so she's aware. Because mm -hmm. that day she was asked to stand up in the in the midst of uh, the disciples. She was asked to to stand up. You get it? I, I think it was I think it was a mini conference mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Disciples. Yeah. She was asked to stand up, so she knows mm -hmm. that she isn't the biological daughter of this man. But because she also knows that the rest of the world doesn't know. And that is the more reason why she came to BBC saying that yes, she is, yes, she is the biological daughter of the, the late prophet. One other lady also came, oh yeah, they know I don't get to be the biological daughter of this. Those people don't know anything. They know I I think maybe they are even new disciples. Mm -hmm. Maybe this even happened before they even joined the church as disciples. So they they, they knew nothing. You get it? because this wasn't something that the man of God went about saying all the time. It was just something he said once in a mini conference. You get it? In a mini conference with, uh, I think, the, the church authorities and just few people. 
and also uh, some people from the school authorities. So it was just few people he shared this information, information with. with. So now, if let's say with all this, with all this uh, uh, behavior, the man, uh, the man still uh, uh, took you as his daughter. But here is the case: you ran away by yourself. He, he did not sack you. He didn't do anything to push you away. You ran away uh, uh, yourself. So how can you come back to tell the whole world that you uh, 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 you have no shelter? You are homeless. Home, yes. Yeah. All those things. She didn't have that freedom. Okay. And that is the more reason she, she decided to run away so that she could get freedom, mm. thinking that the the money that uh, possibly she has could mm. take her. You get it? And me, me, here lies the case. She doesn't even know how to spend. How to spend. You get it? Reckless this, life. Yes. Reckless spending. Because this girl, if this girl could squander 41,000 pounds in just a <laughs> few days, <laughs> hey, come to think of it, it, no matter the amount you give that, that girl, she wouldn't find any meaningful use to it. Somebody's lifetime uh, 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 savings. Yes. You get it? She wouldn't make any good use of it. So maybe she was thinking that the, the money she, she had mm -hmm. on her as a result of possibly Tibi Joshua giving her money for school and you know some other money for personal accounts and all those things, maybe that money could sustain her for a very long time. And then she, she ran away. She took on her heels. Now she went out there, squandered the whole money or possibly spent everything. <laughs> and now she's crying that uh, she's homeless. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, like, where does she want to go? Who, da, who, who is she expecting to uh, uh, accept her or take her in so that she she will come and be uh, stealing the person? She is, is she is not better than those who are sleeping on the come on. Uh, on the bridges. Yes. Is she better than she's not better than them. Uh -huh. So she can also go and sleep yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. even look at looking at the, mm -hmm. the the whole thing, if should anybody take this girl in. It's just a period of time. This girl will definitely do something. If oh, not steal the person, this girl will definitely do something that will cause the person to chase her out. Oh, you are breaking. If it's so, with all this behavior uh, 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 characters, if you as a person, you want to bring this girl into your home, yeah. Oh, you are bringing calamity yes. <laughs> upon yourself. <laughs> exactly. Upon yourself and your family. Exactly. If a whole TB Joshua, whole TB Joshua could not, could not tame this girl. Yes. And then you, who are you? <laughs> and I got, it got to a point where by he realized that he, he, he got to a point where by the, the man gave up on the girl. Mm -hmm. Then, <laughs> then nothing anybody can yes. do. If nothing a, anybody yes. can do. If a whole lady, the late prophet, yeah, could not tame that girl. You, who are you to that bring girl, this girl? What she needs is self-transformation she has to sit herself down get a, a, a psychiatrist or somebody you know think of how to transform her life change like these things if people cannot change her then possibly it has to come from within she has to she has to transform herself she's a sport brat already so who uh, yes unless she herself has uh, yeah decided to sit down and think that oh this life I'm living is not helping. Let me try as much as I can to put a stop to all these stealing habits and all this bad, reckless life that I'm living. Exactly. And then live a good and a decent life. No, no one else can change that day. Exactly. Yes. So she being homeless, it's not even news. That I don't know whether she was sharing that for <laughs> for people to sympathize with her or see the man as a wicked man he, he, for throwing her out. The man didn't throw her out. She ran away by yes. she ran away by herself. So you you, get, you, you got shelter, away? you say you don't like. You got food, you got everything that life could offer. You say you don't want. Go you wanted freedom. Go to go school. to school. They sent you to expensive and yeah, good yeah. schools. You say you don't, you don't you don't like. So what else? What 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 at all does that girl want from the man that today this girl will come or appear on BBC's documentary and be telling the world that uh, the the man hasn't been good to her, the man scolded her, threw him, threw her out, and all those things. This girl is an ingrate, a big one at that. It's a typical liar because if you run away by yourself. And at the end of the day, you 
and you are coming out to tell us that it, is, it was the man who sacked you. It's your own cup of tea. You see, yeah. so your own cup of tea. You you lied, and people now people you see you 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 you, you told us you told uh, BBC a lie. So now people are now digging into the issue. Now they know they got to know that you are the you are rather the bad. The bad. Man. Yes, mm -hmm. and I also I also I also want to believe that this girl was paid to appear on BBC. Absolutely. Because that one is, is, is that one and, is, and even is, irrespective of. That one is, is obvious. Irrespective of <laughs> the money you are being offered, looking at what this man did for yes, you, yes, 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 knowing very well he's not your biological father. Mm -hmm. Looking at what this man did for you, must you appear on BBC documentary to tarnish the yes, man's yes. image to that extent? And the, the entire family, and the, yeah, and the entire family and the church, the church to that extent. I get in the whole thing. Even today, I believe even today, today, that girl goes back to the church or uh, goes back to the family they were accepting her. Yeah, I, I believe so. Me. I believe so. But her, her arrogance yes, yes, will yes, not yes, allow her. Yeah, exactly. Her ego will not allow her. You get it? How to even say, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. is a problem. That is why she's still on the streets. Because mm -hmm. already the man has adopted her legally. Mm -hmm. So, Legally, she is still the man's daughter. Daughter, yeah. So yeah. if she should go back and apologize, mm -hmm. apologize sincerely from her heart, I believe the family will reconsider things and then possibly give her life again. The prodigal daughter. Yeah, the prodigal daughter. Yeah. They will possibly give her give her life again. But that ego, mm -hmm. how to even say, oh, go on her knees and even plead. Mm -hmm. For forgiveness is a problem that is why she's still on the streets so i don't think anybody should pity that girl for being homeless she doesn't need she doesn't she doesn't deserve any any sort of pity I, I i agree with you i agree with you she does not deserve any pity if someone from his own heart <coughs> could do such a thing give you life give you life try to put you on the right path and you you threw away all those opportunities. Yeah. And then after that, he brought you back to church to transform you. That again, you what? You ran away. Ran away. Thinking the man was uh, being hard on you. Yeah. And today you will come out to tell us that he was being uh, he, he was a wicked person to you or so so and so. I I, I don't think she deserved to be pitied. Yes, she doesn't. Yes, and I don't think at all. This same girl cannot put aside whatever pride mm -hmm. she has. Even go back, go on her knees and apologize. Even the prodigal son went back to apologize. Yes, yes, yes in the Bible. And hey, now you are okay. Eh? Mm -hmm. Go back and apologize. Go back and apologize mm -hmm. to your people. One way or the other, legally, this man adopted you. So, per the law, you are still his daughter. So, she should go back and apologize. And I think that is what is difficult for her to do. And even for her to even appear on BBC to say all these things, <laughs> she has even compounded yes, the, the issue. The, the whole issue. The issue is out of hand. Yeah, she has compounded the issue. Yeah, because... I believe the entire family know everything that this man has done. Yes, absolutely. For this girl. Absolutely. So for this girl to possibly receive money from BBC mm -hmm. as to whether she received money or not, for her to, to just appear there alone to say all these things that she said about the man, she has compounded the, the entire issue. You see, you as a um, joker and other disciples yeah who came out to who took money from bbc and then uh, he came out to spew out this rubbish to the public are all in great they and sell out all in great because see me that's what i'm saying that i believe all these people were paid because there are all those people who appeared mm -hmm. had their individual stories they have their individual stories but they all come out today to be saying all sort of things you get it? There was one woman which I, I think I have forgotten her name. Mm. 
who uh, once upon a time was even using the late prophet's <laughs> name to be to be uh, uh, frauding people. <laughs> what are you saying? So you see, I get it. So you see. Yes. So I be, I believe strongly that these people received something to appear on BBC to to talk all these things. And come to think of it, the documentary was purely one sided. Mm -hmm. It was just mm -hmm. all about the black side of the man to paint the the man black. Yeah, of course, and even and even uh, even uh, when he is late, he can't even come out to. How would he come out to uh, uh, defend, uh, himself. defend himself? Yes, he so, can't come out to defend himself. How can the dead uh, uh, defend himself uh, against the living? <laughs> Ajoka is an ungrateful daughter, an ungrateful daughter of the late prophet T.P. Joshua. So I don't believe or I don't even think that girl deserves pity like the way she appeared on uh, BBC sounding as though she's <laughs> very very innocent and holy yeah, 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 yeah. and for the whole world to pity you for what? that the man sent you out whilst you, you ran away by yourself the man gave you life you rejected gave you everything that life will offer you rejected and today you come out to say all these things about the man so that the uh, society will, will pity you, pity you. Who will bring you Come under on. his roof hmm? with such an attitude hmm? with such a character who will in, who in his right sense or in right senses will bring you under his roof hmm? such an ingrate nobody will do that exactly exactly nobody should anybody do that by mistake believe me it's just just give just give them even less than one week. The person will, will begin to identify a two characters. It's calamity. And send the, her back. It's calamity it. the person is bringing. Look yes. at you see a man of God, eh? a man of God. Eh, even the whole wrath of God will come upon that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at a, a person with such a heart. Try to give you a life. And you came out to say all these things about such a person. If anybody, look, I'm saying this today. If anybody tried to help this girl, in fact, the wrath of God will come upon you and your family. Honestly speaking. Yeah. If a whole man of God tried to give life to this girl, and this girl rejected it, and later came a what? It came and painted the man black. And you, uh -huh, you just flesh and uh, 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 flesh and uh, blood no, like me no, with no anointing yes with no <laughs> anointing you try oh my my goodness and the wrath of god will come upon you and your families so nobody should pity this girl honestly speaking that's it that girl is an ungrateful she doesn't child. deserve to be pitied at all at all, at all at all at all who cannot even who cannot even go on her knees to say mm. i'm sorry that's the kind of girl she is she doesn't deserve to be pitied even if uh, the late prophet or T.P. Joshua wasn't a man of God and he tried to give you such a life, yeah. hmm? if an, he is an ordinary person and he tried to give you such a life and you, re you rejected all, you squandered all the opportunities he gave you, people are looking for this kind of this opportunities. Kind of yes. They are not getting it. Yes. And you came <clears throat> and you were lucky enough to. Uh, get it and you squandered everything not once not twice not so many times he tried to put you on the right path you rejected all and today you you, you what the the, uh, the best you could do was to what to come out to tarnish his image oh yeah. okay. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry with this behavior so so the, uh, the, 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 the truth too is that most often such people, eh, these are the kind of people who uh, 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 spoil chances for others. Ah, yes, exactly. Mm. exactly. With you, uh, with this kind of behavior, eh, nobody will be willing to help anybody again. Yes. Nobody will be willing because at the end of the day, these are the kind of uh, um, the kind of is the uh, uh, gratitude. I don't. 
somebody will say he's a man of God. He's a man of God, but he's a human being he's like human. Yes. Uh, he's human like you and I. Yes. And with such an attitude of this girl, hmm, you went to school, the most expensive schools in Nigeria, which I heard even the uh, uh, their IGP or whatever in Ghana we call it IGP the police the police chief in Nigeria state said that he could not even afford to send his daughter or his children to such a school and you as an adopted daughter daughter and their privilege yes to be schooled there yes such an honor <sighs> and then you you messed up everything and then mm -hmm. you come out today expecting the whole world to sympathize with you. Oh no. I joke. I joke. Anyway, you are not better than those who are sleeping under the bridges. Uh, Le uh, under the, uh, the Lagos Bridge. Uh, yes. That bridge. You are not better than them. So yeah, you can have uh, join the queue. <clears throat> yeah, join the queue. You don't you, nobody should pity this girl, honestly speaking. And if uh, well, uh, if you if you want the wrath of God to be upon your head, that one uh, you can go ahead to, you know, even not wrath of God at all. She herself is even more than <laughs> <laughs> that girl is calamity. <laughs> calamity. Uh, she's more than the word calamity <laughs> or evil. Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's more than it's more. You see how evil forest is in Nigeria, yeah. and how Nigerians value evil, evil forest. Yes, that girl is more than the evil forest itself. Yes, uh -huh. she's more than the evil forest itself. So a whole evil forest. You going to? So do you want to? You want to go and carry that whole evil forest and bring it to your house? To house. Oh, <laughs> full of different different spirits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that they were trying to cast one one after the other, and then the spirit finally decided to run away. Yes. Exactly, and who are joking is a, a whole evil forest on its own. Yes, so you, uh, okay, anyway, if you want to carry evil forest to your home, uh, well, it's your choice, it's your choice, your decision to make, your decision to make. So, uh, the ball is on your court, yes, because as it stands right now, we have set or laid down a, a joker's uh, life history, mm -hmm. yeah, with regards to uh, the least property be usual. Yes. So, with all this in mind, think twice before taking Ajoke into your various rooms. Because Ajoke is an ingrate, a very big one at that. And that girl is full of pride that she can't even go down on her knees to even apologize or say, I'm sorry, I did this and this and that. I'm ready to change. Take me back once again mm -hmm. so that I can be transformed into a better version of myself. For a person like this who hasn't even realized it yet, to come appear on BBC's documentary to be spilling all these things about the late prophets, then I don't think that girl deserves any sort of pity from, from the world as mm -hmm. she came uh, appearing. I don't think so. I think that's so if, um, we had enough of Ajoke. Uh, Ajoke is an is a, is an institution of evil spirits on its own. Uh -huh. So anybody who is willing to you know uh, uh, supply that cause you you are you are at you your own peril to, be, to, be blamed. <laughs> to be blamed yeah you have yourself to be blamed mm -hmm. so we draw the curtains here yes we will still continue there are most to uh, more stories to, more to, stories come. to come yes yes so please um, keep subscribing like the channel like this particular video give it a thumbs up share the video hit the notification button mm -hmm. and then we we'll see you again on this lovely channel. Thank you all. I took the evil. Don't be a minute.